And now please welcome the championship final and the women's 400 meter individual medley. Lane assignments in one, a two-time Olympic silver medalist in the 10K open water event from the Mission Viejo Nadadores, Haley Anderson. Lane two is a three-time world championship medalist representing St. Petersburg Aquatics, Melanie Margallis. Lane three was the winner of the 400 IM at the 2020 US Open from Wisconsin Aquatics, Ali McHugh. Your top seed in lane four, silver medalist in the 200 butterfly at the 2019 World Championships. Representing Sun Devil Swimming, Haley Fleckener. Lane five, a 2017 World Championship medalist in the 200 IM. From Longhorn Aquatics, Madison Cox. Lane six, a 2019 World Championship team member. Representing Alto Swim Club, Brooke Forty. Lane seven here at the Mission Viejo Pro Swim Series, winner of the 800 freestyle from Tucson Four Dealer Aquatics, Leah Smith. Lane eight, silver in the 200 meter breaststroke at the 2017 World Championships from Aggie Swim Club, Bethany Gallen. Championship final, 400 meter individual medley. So Margalis comes in as the top ranked individual from this field at 437.81. at number three in the world standings. Allie McHugh is sixth in the world rankings at 439.11. Madison Cox to lane five, 440 in the prelims to get that spot on lane five. Fifth in this event at the 2019 Summer National. That's Madison in lane five. Now pushing the tempo, Haley flicking out of lane four, the butterfly specialist coming through here at 102.01. Flickner looks strong ahead of Cox at 103.04, then a 103.27 for Brooke 40. Aldo lane six. Forty just off the world championship Bye, final in this event at Wanju, taking ninth place overall. out in 36.4 on the backstroke, 36.6 from Cox. And only Margallis is faster as she moves into second with a 36.2 split. Flickner comes back in a 34.8, 213.2, Margallis 35.5, and Leah Smith has moved into contention with a 35.1 split and a 215.3. 
So you often see Margalis making her move on the breaststroke leg. She's in lane two. Two-time world championship gold medalist. Fourth in the 200 IM in 2019, Guangzhou champs. That was Margalis. And it is on the breaststroke here with a 38.5. Margalis has taken the lead from Haley Flickener. She was a 40.6 on the breaststroke. Madison Cox, 39.2. Margallis in two, Flickener in four, Cox in five. Those are your contenders as we approach the 300 meter turn. And Margallis powers through in a 38.7, 332.3 with 100 meters remaining. Forty point five from Flickener, three thirty four four. Madison Cox at thirty nine eight gets within about a third of a second of Flickener. And no letting up here from Melanie Margallis in lane two. She takes the freestyle out at a thirty two point two. Again, her season best, 437.8. If she can duplicate that effort, she will improve on that. Challenge the time from Sara Franceschi of Italia at 437.06. And Margalis on her own from lane two turns in a 435.18. Just off the top time in the world, which is Yui Ohashi of Japan at 435.14. Second is Haley Flickener, 437.55. That'll move her into third in the world rankings. Third looks like Madison Cox at 439.10. And that'll get Madison Cox into the world rankings as well. Elizabeth Beisel was second at 436.8. How about that swim by Melanie Margallis? Second best time in the world this year from Melanie Margallis at an event that I know maybe a while ago you weren't a fan of, but boy, how, how I know it doesn't make you feel great, but when you get out of the pool, but just can you talk about your growth in, in really kind of wrapping your arms around this event? Yeah, I yeah, I don't feel that great right now after <laughs> swimming it, but you know, I'm really trying to embrace it, and I think the biggest thing in the Florida Ram is the mental aspect, which is what I'm continuously working on, and I feel like I'm doing a better job there, so I feel really good about that. It seems like you went out a little bit harder than you normally do in that. Was that part of the strategy as well? Yeah, it was. I wanted to see if I could push out the front and what I could still do on the back half after. What, what do you... What do you think about this event and how crazy competitive it is in the United States? I mean, the women you're swimming against here are, are going to mimic what we see in Omaha. Yeah, exactly. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I really like being pushed. And, you know, these girls are so good. And I'm thinking about them all the time in 4IM group when I'm at, back at Georgia. And I think it'll be a really good race in Omaha. Well, right now, it was a great race for you, winning by more than two seconds. Congratulations. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Coming up next, event 10 men's 400 meter individual medley pro swim series record 